Right, so it's Man vs Golf Old Challenge, we're at West Cliffs, I've played two warm-up holes, or partly played them at least anyway, uh, some drone footage going over for you now, of what is a third, it's stroke index one, it's 365 yards, the wind is blowing into us, I don't know why I've chose this one as a challenge, because it really seems tough, and as you can see, plenty of water down that right hand side, with any good design golf hole, there's trouble down the left as well, so the only option is to try and find the middle of the fairway, I'm going with three wood, Just kiss that ball goodbye right now, or so at the bunker. I think it's uh, I'd take the bunker any day of the week. I'll try and get uh, some shot tracer on it, but basically it stayed, it hung down the left hand side for quite some time and I don't know the yardages to the sand on the left, but that's not too bad, I think I'll have a fair bit of distance in because it certainly hung in the wind, but I'm glad I'm not in the water Right, so that's where my ball is, um, just perched up on the bank but I'm going to show you where we're going, because I can't actually see this from where I am, where we're going to plant the camera that's the green plenty of uh, breeze on that flag and you can see water all on the right hand side so uh, again there's a front bunker left which uh, you'd take right now right okay so this is where we are proper good golf hole like I said let's just have a look and make sure yes so proper good golf hole this um, three wood I should have gone driver you need that extra yard you've got 170 into this flag straight over the line of the bunker and uh, anything cutting too far left to right probably in the drink a pretty damn poor effort it leaked way out to the right and that's a drop I'm afraid yeah it was a pretty poor effort leaked it way off the right and it was feeble that's what I don't like is just uh, hitting a real sort of tentative shot and uh, I was beaten straight away as soon as that one left the club so taking a drop I've now got to make up and down for a half CBX Cleveland Wedge helps me out again and I've got a chance there for a miraculous five. That's a pretty miraculous five and a great up and down. Really pleased with both those two shots, just one badden in the middle. But after one dunking in the water, I'll certainly take a half for my start in this Man vs Golf Challenge. Right, second hole here at Westcliffs. It's a bit overcast, so we're just going to have a bit of fun on this green because I've never seen a green with such a slope, with so many undulations. And with Kevin Paver here from uh, Golf Shake, and we're going to have a little bit of a challenge and see who can get closest, mate. How many balls have you got? One. So we've got two each then. Right. Two goes each. Okay. Go on in, from here. You go first. Can do. Oh, that could be good. That could be good. Come round. Come round. Come round. Wow. I'll tell you what, mate. That could possibly be uh, beat that, basically. See my line now, isn't it? That's going to be better. Ooh. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's definitely the line, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a real swing off that. Ooh, 
tell you what. Ooh, that's the one. I'll tell you what. That's the best two putts of it all week. Or all year, maybe. Very good, mate. I don't know if you can see the undulation from back there, but it is severe. I'll get the cam up there and I'll pan across this a little bit, but uh, I have a feeling this may be a feature of things to come at the next uh, 16 holes at Westcliff. Hole two of today's Man vs Golf Hole Challenge and it is the seventh hole, it's a par five. It plays around just over 500 yards and I think it's stroke index three. Kev? Uh, it is, uh, I've, I've got it here, stroke index three. I played this hole earlier this morning, played it quite well, so inevitably that ain't gonna happen again, but we'll give it a go anyway. Um, some drone footage going over for you now, more of the second half of, uh, of this hole. Uh, first bit, find that fairway as ever. That's a better tee shot than it this morning to be fair and uh, really caught hold of that one cut it off the left hand side pretty much perfect i know you picked it up into that blue sky how nice is it to see a ball go off a tee into a blue sky finding the middle of a fairway pretty perfect driving you don't want to go much further because uh, another 20 30 yards which i probably haven't got in me to be fair is uh, a sort of scrub land it's all sand area and uh, be pretty tough from there but as it stands i'm in really good nick here I've got about 220, 225 and possibly 3 would might get there but I'm going to go with 6 iron and see if I can play this with a little bit of a position down the left hand side and a wedge in. All sounds straightforward, doesn't it? gone over the brow on the right again just leaked out the iron which was a bit disappointing because I've been striking them quite well and off camera and um, that's just gone over the mound and hopefully not leave too much in and maybe six iron was the right play everything about these uh, golf clubs that you play at West Cliffs that can it, or every shot rather it makes you think you've always I think it demands your full attention is probably the way I'd describe it from tee to green so even a straightforward shot like this which is a hundred yard wedge in See flags at the front, you've got bunker right, you've got bunker left, and anything short, there's a massive fall off, and the chances are you'll end up sort of 50 yards away. So like I said, every shot, you need to have a think about what, exactly what you're doing. think about what you're doing get the club right is the first thing I had that as 100 yards and that's absolutely flown over to the back I thought it was going back left bunker and uh, provided I can find that that's gonna be a difficult up and down okay any advice like I said think about that shot carefully because don't go long on this hole this is what you call a bit of hit and hope I think it's fair to say would have took that because the chances are the ball was going to stay there and go nowhere at least we've got a put for well i've got two putts i've got a put for the win i could still make five here but uh, looking like two for a six and a half would be uh, a good result again
escape with a pretty miraculous half, I think, there. Don't forget, it was a shot hole for me. Coming out that course, it didn't look too good, but we managed to get up and down for a six. Right, quick stop at the back of the six green. It's a par five, it's a great hole in itself, but what a backdrop, and pretty much all the way around the course, the first thing I would say is from the minute you arrive, um, the first word comes out of your mouth is a bit of a wow, so therefore I think that's got the wow factor, and it happens all the way around. You get to a tee box or a green, and you're often looking at the, the, the ocean, the sea out there, or some stunning piece of scenery in terms of well manicured fairways, really good greens, good, again, lots of definition, first cut, second cut or rough, it really is an immaculate golf course. I think one word of advice, if you were coming to play, I'd play the yardages in terms of the tee boxes that suit your game, because I think you could have a real tough round here if you made that wrong decision. We're playing from, I think, sort of the uh, equivalent to European uh, yellows or Great British yellow tees. Um, and it's plenty tough enough from there, but they've got plenty of yardage options for you to play. And I think that's a good decision. Make sure you choose the right tee box. And it is a course that's hard not to enjoy. Right, final hole of the challenge and final hole of the day. We've waited till the 18th. It's uh, a bit of a feature hole. It's a par four, some drone footage going over for you now. Uh, pretty much blind on the tee shot into uh, what you can see there. I think a couple of hundred yards uh, carry and you're in decent nick down the hill, but then it's over the water into that small looking green at the minute. But as ever, first bit out of the way, mini driver. Been a bit hit and miss with it today around uh, West Cliffs, but let's hope there's one good shot left in it. don't think, I don't know, but it doesn't look as though that is going to carry. I pulled that one down the left hand side, there's a few big trees there and uh, I think looking at it from here that's probably bitten off a bit more than I can chew I think. Well we just had about enough legs in that because um, well I've done well, let me show you where we're going. So that's the green and um, I've got pretty much a clear view to it. And that's not a bad lie either. So we've got a bit lucky there. Let's get that. That's a really tough closing hole, and even with this, um, I'm measuring a sort of 170, 180 almost back into that very back flag. And I might as well have a part final shot of the day. It's going to be four ranks. It's right into the breeze as well. There's no, no room for error. That's like a lot of the shots that you play around here. You can't leak anything. There's no bailout there. Well, if there was a bailout, then that was it, and it was staying just down that left-hand side. And even with four iron, I still haven't made the green, but I've made the fringe, and uh, I'm above ground. To be honest with you, that's uh, a real decent iron to finish the day on. Really pleased with that, as I said, for a finishing iron. It's probably better than I thought. I thought I was uh, front, short, left, but I'm actually pin eye. Water's over the other side, so uh, just bump a simple one up the hill and uh, walk off with a par. Stay there. That was a little bit nervy, stabbed at that one a little bit and uh, I think I was a little bit scared of flying that one over the back. I've got to put for part or two for another half. That's not left one I uh, quite wanted, that ran off didn't it? Wow. Well, ended up with a five. I think that was three bogeys on three shot holes, so uh, match ended all square. But I think even from that last putt, you see what I've said throughout this whole round is that you needed concentration on every part of the game from tee to green. 
but enjoyed it here hope as ever you enjoy what i showed you of westcliff golf course in and around what i've played in this match as ever thank you for watching comment down below and uh, as with all videos at the minute i'm going to finish off by saying i'm off for a pint